Today we're going to learn how to write the number 10 and Yancy wanted to come along and see how we do it. So here we go. I've got my number 10 paper and the first thing I'm going to do is write my name. So I'm gonna put my paper down here and write my name. I was writing my name upside down, but I noticed that my letters were very hard to read when I wrote my name upside down. So we'll do it like this now. All right, there we go. I've got my name on my paper. And when you have your name on your paper, we'll get started. Here we go. As always, when we learn how to write our number, we start by tracing the big one with our finger. Number 10 is actually two numbers, and then we're gonna write them right next to each other. So here's how we do this. Come straight down, and that is all. Make a circle, and that is all. Come straight down, and that is all. Make a circle, and that is all. Come straight down, and that is all. Make a circle, and that is all to make the number 10. You need to trace the number 10 on your paper three times. Once you've traced the number 10 on your paper with your finger three times, now we're going to trace the number 10s down here. I'm gonna use my gray marker and you're gonna use your pencil. Here we go. Come straight down and that is all. Make a circle and that is all. Come straight down and that is all. Make a circle and that is all. Keep going until you've traced all the number 10s. Once you've traced all the number 10s, you can try to write a number 10 on the side here all by yourself and see if you can do that. Now that we've written all of our number 10s, we're going to go down to this box, find the number 10s, and circle them. Here we go. I'm going to look at each number, and if it's a number 10, I'm going to circle it. If it's not a number 10, I'm going to do nothing and move on. Go ahead and circle the number 10s on your paper. Once you've circled all the number 10s, then we're ready to move on to the next part and count some items down here in our boxes. So we're gonna start with these crayons. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to come back later and color that one. Let's count the buckets of paint. One, two, three, four. So we're going to exit out. Good remembering. Let's count the painting easels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to exit out. Now we're going to count these markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to come back later and color them. Let's count the bottles of glue. One, two, three, four, five. So we will exit out. And here we have some, I think they're computer mice. Let's count those. One, two, three. So we will exit out. There we go. We have all of our objects counted and the ones that don't have 10 X out. And now it's time to color them. So I'm gonna color the crayons right here. There we go, make a couple of them purple. You can color your pictures as well. You can color them with crayons or markers or whatever you have to do some coloring at your house. That's how we write the number 10. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do it, how to write it, how to count it, and how to find it. See you next time. Bye.